today. He, he gave him the wrong number. Okay, all right. If he gave him the wrong number, I will stand corrected. I'm not sure about that, but Marshall is showing the blitz, and it's Blake Joseph taking the snap, and Joseph runs the ball, and Rick Mentor told us yesterday, when Joseph's in the game, even though he can pass it, he threw for over 1,300 yards last year, that they were going to play it as if it was a run, and Joseph did keep it. A good pickup. Got the ball. Uh, down just inside the 20-yard line, pick up about nine, and that'll be second and one, and Houston's on the move. They're only 13 down. Joseph can throw it. Does for the end zone. It's too far out. Oh, oh and a nasty hit. That is Patrick Edwards out of the back of the end zone, and they are calling for attention immediately. Edwards appeared to run into one of those carts in the end zone going all out for the ball and he was just upended. Well, he was their leading receiver coming Why? in this game. Yeah, you have to get those out of the back oh, of the end my. zone. That's, those carts have oh, to go. Watch this. Watch this. Total focus. Oh. oh. Hit the leg too and the fans in the stands reacting as well as they're watching on the screen in the stadium. Patrick Edwards, freshman from Hearn, Texas. What are a in, former walk-on? What are in the carts, Coach? I, I'm not sure. I, I see some uh, things that look like perhaps uh, paraphernalia used by the bands. I'm not sure of that, but um, those are not far enough out of the way. And right now they are attending to Patrick Edwards. We'll get an update on his condition just as soon as we can. <laughs> 